Forlan wears the look of a determined man. The first kick in the shootout for Uruguay is successful. Forlan scores 1 0 Uruguay. He does not strike twice and he does not hit the crossbar again. Samuel Gian, it's still a short run up. He's got to beat the goalkeeper this time, and he has done. And he has exercised the ghost in the memory of that miss. 1 1. And uh, Mauricio Victorino from the University de Chile club. He's not a regular penalty taker, he's never scored a goal for Uruguay. He's entrusted. And he beats Kingston, smashes it high into the net. A 100% record so far. 2-1 Uruguay. Muslera will try and foil him. It is Appia. And he does it. His shot was the one that was kept out on the line. Which afforded them a penalty kick in the 120th minute. Stepping forward now is the substitute, Andres Scotti. Nobody's missed. Emphatically driven low beyond Kingston. To kick against the Brazilians that time. This to make it all square again. Kenny favours the... Well, he's not run up at all. He'll be right-footed. And John Manter... Sees the shot saved by Muslera, it is advantage Uruguay. They lead 3-2. And Mentor is consoled immediately, he is there in the semi-finals. It is the right fullback, Maximiliano Pereira. Who blasts it straight over the top and the advantage is lost. Provided Garner score with the next one. The drama continues long into the night in Johannesburg. Star of the World Under 20 Championships. And this is saved as well. And it's a horrible, horrible moment for the young man. 20 years of age. And we see three misses in a row. He Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? He's got to be the first one to use the left foot. Kingston has to save it. They all stand arms around one another. It is a Abreu! It's the cheekiest chip you've ever seen. And it's good enough to take the South Americans into the semi-finals of the World Cup. African hearts are finally broken in 2010. There will be. Tim Krull is coming on here, and it's Jasper Sillison who's going off. First penalty kick is going to be taken by Celso Borges, just as it was against Greece. Comes Celso Borges scored against the Greeks in the round of 16. Been there, done that before, and he's done it again. Krull went the right way. But Borges still had his match. Penalty shootouts have been won by the side who have taken the first penalty. So history suggests Costa Rica. Van Persie's missed a couple in 90 minutes. Here from the penalty spot, he finds the back of the net. Again, the keeper guesses right, but again, the penalty taken. Strikes with his left foot. Tim Kroll will watch and bounce. And here comes Ruiz, and Kroll gets down and saves it this time! Brian Ruiz is denied. Advantage the A non-stop performer for his side in the game. Oh, and he sends the keeper the wrong way with a very good penalty. So two apiece, the Netherlands two, Costa Rica one. Going on here, the Dutch goalkeeper. Giancarlo Gonzalez plays his football in the United States. 
on his 40th cap here tonight. How cool is he? Very cool. Very cool. Levels it up. Now he needs his goalkeeper. He knows this stage all too well, the World Cup. 16th World Cup game tonight, more than any other Dutchman. Snyder sends again the keeper the wrong way. Both Robin and Snyder have been emphatic with their finishes. Penalty away from the place in the semi-final. Christian Bolaños, a veteran of the World Cup four years ago as well. And Kroll stretched his fingers. But Bolaños, Bolaños found a way past. It's 3-3 again, but still. At the back of the net in a Netherlands shirt. Oh, and he does it superbly well. In off the inside of the post. The Dutch have been absolutely clinical. Costa Rica go out, the Dutch go through. Here's a moment. It's Amana who steps up. Oh, and Krul has saved it! It's Krul for the Dutch! It's Kruler for Costa Rica! The goalkeeping hero who came on for the bench in the very last second has become a World Cup hero! 21 UEFA Europa League final. It's Gerard Moreno who beats the hair and in front of the Barreal supporters they have the advantage. But Geronimo Rui for La Liga games he's on the bench for the Europa League he's in goal and he's faced now by one batter who makes it 1-1. Danny Raba, who barely got a kick after coming on as a substitute. But it's Raba who puts Verreal back in front, 2-1. Knowing that penalties were coming. Tellers to make it 2-2. And it is 2-2. Could be a long night, Tony. Pack up, I'll cut there. And De Gea got a hand to that, but he couldn't keep it out. 3-2. Incredible scoring record from the penalty spot. He needs to produce now for Manchester United. And he does. Really again getting a hand to the ball. Just like the hair with Alcazar. Gdansk. Alberto Moreno. No arguments. Superbly struck. And he will have enjoyed that. Eyes firmly on the ball. It's Rashford. No arguments. 4-4. Four, four. Danny Pereira. Five four. This to take it to sudden death. Or this to present the trophy to Verreal. And we go on. Five five. De Gea beaten once more, 6-5, advantage with Barreal. No second chances now. The goalkeeper's made a move and dive blow to either side. Fred, a picture of concentration. And what a penalty that was. 
An extraordinary series. 6-6. Bill Albiol. Another superb penalty. The skipper, 35 years. Game in the African Nation Cup, 21 penalties. And it goes on. Dan James puts his penalty away. Another brilliant penalty. Coquelin into the top corner. 8-7. Beating fast. Luke Shaw. And he's just squeezed that in. Really, the goalkeeper will perhaps feel that he should have done more to keep that out. Guess right, went the right way. Tremendous tension. And how about that from the experienced Mario Haspa? Well, they're just blasting the ball past the goalkeepers. They're really hitting. And he scores. Nine all, 18 taken, 18 scored. Teammates next season. Can Pau Torres deliver for Villarreal? Yes, he can. 10 9. Victor Lindlof. It's Lindlof, and he scores. 10-10, will either really... Really against De Gea. Goalkeeper against goalkeeper, and really scores. If he scores, we start all over again. What a moment. And it's been saved! Rooney with that save.